Good morning, crazy apes. It's Miss Katrina. How are you this morning? I'm doing well, and I'm really happy to be here with you today. So I just want to see if you remember, we've been talking for a while about how the Israelites had been told by God that they needed to listen and obey, or they were going to have to go into exile in a different land that wasn't their home. And remember that even though God sent prophets to warn them and to help them, they didn't listen. And then what God said came true and they had to go to Babylon, which was away from their home. And they've been there for many, many years. We've been learning about some of the people who lived in Babylon, like Daniel and his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We learned about Esther, who became queen of Persia. This is away from Jerusalem. This was away from their home, but she became queen and how she helped save the Jews from being killed by the, that evil man, Haman. You guys learned that just a couple weeks ago but then last week you learned that just like God promised he took care of the Israelites and one day they got to go back home King Cyrus said that the Israelites could go back to Jerusalem and they could build the temple and Miss Macy told you all about that last week well as you can imagine this was probably pretty exciting because the temple especially was something that the Israelites really missed. They didn't have the temple while they were in Babylon. The temple was a really important place. That's where God would show his presence to his people. That's where people could go to be with God. They could go there to be with him, to praise him and to learn about him. In fact, the Bible verse we have today is from the book of Psalms and it was written by King David and he's talking about how much he loves the temple. It's in the book of Psalms, Psalm 27 verse four. And King David says, I've asked one thing from the Lord. It's what I really, really want. It's to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, gazing on the beauty of the Lord and seeking him in his temple. The temple was the house of God. And David loved being there and the Israelites loved being there. But while they were in exile in Babylon, there was no temple. The temple had been torn down. So now they were so excited because they got to go back to Jerusalem and build the new temple and they were ready. They were led by a man named Zerubbabel. Can you say that? I'll say it again. Zerubbabel. That's a great name and Zerubbabel led the people to build the temple in Jerusalem and they started and they built the foundation. Do you know what the foundation is? That's when you have the bricks and everything at the bottom. That's the bottom of the temple, the part that holds the whole thing up. So they had worked on the foundation and then they stopped once the foundation was built to have a celebration. They celebrated a feast. Priests put on their special clothes and they played music on their instruments. Others played cymbals while the people sang praises to God. Now, the first part of the temple had been built, but they needed to build the rest of it. But the people in the surrounding nations were enemies of the Israelites, and they did not like the idea that the Israelites were back in Jerusalem building their temple. They kind of wanted to get in their way. They were causing trouble. They caused a lot of trouble. They even started writing letters to the king back in Persia, trying to, to say untrue things about the Israelites, accusing them of being troublemakers, when really those people were the troublemakers. 
they caused so much trouble that the temple went for many, many years without being built. It still wasn't finished. But God wanted his temple to be built. God wanted to restore the Israelites to him. He wanted them to be with him in his temple. So he sent some prophets to encourage the Israelites to start building the temple again. Don't be afraid, build the temple. A couple of these prophets' names were Haggai and Zechariah. They have books in the Bible that talk all about what they were saying to the Israelites. So what were their names? The prophets, Haggai and Zechariah. So they encouraged the Israelites to start building again. And then the new king in Persia, King Darius, told the people who were trying to cause problems for Israel to stop. Make no more trouble for them, he said. In fact, I want them to build this temple and we're going to give them all the money and the supplies that they need. If anybody gets in their way, they get in big, big trouble. Whatever they need, give it to the people. So the people did what the king said and the Israelites kept building the temple just as God had said to build it. And when the temple was all finished, the priests and all the family celebrated again. They had a big feast and a festival for seven days and they worshiped God for his goodness. Isn't that exciting? They had the temple back and the temple was very important because that's where the people could go to be with God. And did you guys know that this was all before Jesus came? And when Jesus came, he established the temple of God, the way to be with God in our hearts. And so when we believe in Jesus, our body, we become a temple for God. And we can praise God and be with God anywhere, everywhere. And that's really good news. So I have a little review cube here, you guys. I'm gonna throw it up and I'm gonna ask you some questions about the story and see if you remember, all right? So here we go. All right, is today's story in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Did I tell you? I didn't actually say, but I wonder if you know. Remember, it's before Jesus came. So is that the Old Testament or the New Testament? It's the Old Testament. Good job, you guys. Oh. What were can't read this backwards. <laughs> what are some of the names of the people in our story? Well, let's think. Do you remember the name of the man who led the Israelites back to build to start building the temple? It's a really cool name. Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, right? And then do you remember the names of the prophets who in encourage the Israelites to keep building the temple, even though the nations and their enemies were trying to stop them. There were two of them. There's another one with a Z. His name is Zechariah. And then also Haggai. All right. Good job, you guys. All right. Let's see. Can you, <laughs> can you remember today's Bible verse. Well, I read it really quick to you, but it was in the book of Psalms, for um, Psalm 27, verse four. And the basic point is that David was saying, I want to be with God all the time. I really want to live in God's house all the days of my life. In 
easy way to say that is I want to be with God all the time. Psalm 27, four. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is a good one. I don't know if I said this, but you might remember from next week, from last week. Where is our story found in the Bible? It's in the book of Ezra. Ezra is a character who comes up later in the Bible. We didn't really talk about Ezra himself, but Ezra is the one who wrote the book about um, the Jews going back and rebuilding the temple. And Ezra is in which part of the Bible? The Old Testament. All right, let's see, one more question. What happened in today's Bible story? Well, the people started building the temple, remember? But then the enemies and the nations around Jerusalem started causing trouble, right? And they caused so much trouble that the building of the temple stopped. But then God sent prophets, Haggai and Zechariah, to encourage the people to keep building the temple. And they did. And then the king in Persia even sent all the supplies and all the money they needed and made a law that everyone had to let the Israelites finish building the temple and stop causing problems. So God took care of his people. He restored them and he restored his place with them in their midst. And he is with us in our hearts because of Jesus. When Jesus died and rose again and we believe in him, he sends a spirit to live in us and we become temples of God. We become God's dwelling place in us. And that's really good news, you guys. I love you so much. Let's pray. All right, I almost forgot. <laughs> All right, let's raise your arms, stretch, 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 stretch. Ready, one, two, three, clap. Past your eyes, close your eyes, fold your hands, and repeat after me. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you that you want to live with us. You want to be with us. We love you so much, God. Please help us to trust you. Please help us to trust Jesus. Thank you for giving us Jesus and thank you for your spirit that lives in us. We pray this in Jesus name and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'll see you guys.